Every now and then, I come across a dentist like this dentist here. Please take some time and read his comments and my response to his comments. My response to his comments fall on deaf ears. He just does not listen. He doesn't believe in science. He doesn't believe why the endodontic community, the endodontists, the researchers, the scientists absolutely wholeheartedly strongly recommend the use of rubber dam for endodontic therapy. So please take some time, read his comments and my responses to his comments and continue on watching the rest of the video. Thank you. Isn't it shocking that in this day and age, year 2025, I still have to argue with some dentists. Dentist with a doctorate degree, with a doctoral degree, meaning that they studied microbiology, they studied biology, they studied anatomy, they studied physiology, they studied infection control. They're supposed to be scientists. I have to argue with these, with some of some dentist about the use of a rubber dam for endodontic therapy. They're against it. There are some dentists with a doctoral degree <laughs> are against the use of a rubber dam. They advocate for not using a rubber dam. They argue with me why they should use a rubber dam. I'm shocked that in year 2025, I have to argue with some, some, of, some of these people. I feel terrible for your patients. If your knowledge, if your understanding of science is this limited, but yet you practice dentistry, you have a doctoral degree. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just shocked. I'm even making this video right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm embarrassed for you. And this is not a personal attack because sometimes when I, when I, you know, I argue with them, it's like arguing with someone who believes in, uh, the, the, believes that the earth is flat. You know, at some point I, I take it personally, especially when I'm arguing with a doctor who believes that rubber dam has use or no use of a rubber dam gives you the same success rate for endodontics. When I go over the, the benefits of a, of a root canal and why benefits of, of, of a, a rubber dam during a root canal therapy, I go over every single benefit, advantage of using a rubber dam versus all the risks and consequences of not using a rubber dam. They're still not convinced. How do you convince a person like that when they look at the science and they still deny it, yet they have a doctoral degree? And they practice on patients. They, they do dentistry. They do medicine on patients. You have Google? Let's do a Google search. All right, so I just Googled why use a rubber dam. I can't believe I'm making this video in endodontics. Why use a rubber dam? All right, let's read it together. In endodontics, a rubber dam or a dental dam is used to isolate the tooth being treated from bacteria, saliva, and blood, creating a clean, dry, and sterile environment crucial for successful root canal treatment and patient safety. Click on this, and it takes you to this. American Association 
of endodontist position statement. Click on that. And it brings you to the AAE, American Association of Endodontists. This is the position of the American Association of Endodontists. Tooth isolation using the, the dental dam or rubber dam is the standard of care. Is the standard of care. It is integral and essential for any non-surgical endodontic treatment. Standard of care. And this is all the references for the position that the American Association of Endodontists has taken regarding the use of a rubber dam, which we consider to be the standard of care. All these studies, scientific studies, here's the British Dental Journal article the first reference of dental dam use in dentistry was over 150 years ago and it's proven science for over 150 years and you argue with me about its usage and this is now accepted as the standard of care in operative dentistry and is mandatory in operative dentistry is standard of care operative dentistry is whenever possible standard of care but whenever possible in operative dentistry but it's mandatory mandatory for endodontic treatment and vital pulp therapy mandatory some of the benefits the British Dental Journal article it protect it protects the airway patients airway not your airway from accidental aspiration or swallowing of instruments, irrigants, and debris. I posted a video where the dentist hadn't used the rubber dam during a root canal, and the patient ended up aspirating a number 10 stainless steel K file. So they had to go in and surgically remove that file from the patient's lung. I posted it. It's on my TikTok. It's on my Instagram. It's on my YouTube. I posted that video. That shows exactly how the surgeon had to go in and remove the file that the patient had aspirated during the root canal therapy because the dentist hadn't used the rubber dam. The file was aspirated into the patient's lung. And it shows exactly how that file was removed. Reduction of aerosol contamination. It is well established that the air turbine, with or without coolant spray, atomizes saliva, blood, and cravicular fluid resulting in aerosol generating exposure. There's also evidence that the use of compressed air, water from a three in one syringe can also generate aerosol generating exposure. The use of the dental dam or rubber dam has been shown to reduce the bacterial contamination from the aerosol generating exposure by 70 to 98.9 percent this is particularly 
relevant in the current coronavirus pandemic. A septic working area? Dental dam will also ensure a aseptic isolation of the two teeth undergoing dental treatment. This is particularly re relevant in odontics, as the prognosis of treatment is dependent on elimination of endodontic infection and prevention of unintentional nosocomial, comial, nosocomial reinfection from the oral cavity. What this means is, if you don't use a rubber dam, you can introduce bacteria, saliva from the patient's mouth, mouth into the root canal, contaminating the root canal, otherwise non-contaminated root canal system, you can turn it into a contaminated root canal system. There is also substantial evidence that a crucial prognostic factor for vital pulp therapy is dependent on the sterility of the exposed dentin pulp complex before sealing with a bioactive cement. The literature indicates the endodontic treatment carried out without dental dam resulted in poorer success survival rates. Similar conclusions have been drawn from vital pulp therapy trials. Endodontic irrigation, such as sodium hypochlorite, should only be used with dental dam in place. Now here, it has a photo of an arch without a rubber dam and one that the tooth is isolated with a rubber dam and is asking, which situation would you like to treat? A mouth mirror and lingual saliva ejector being used to retract the soft tissues can be challenging for the operator and uncomfortable for the patient. Some say, oh, we're going to, we put cut and rolls and cut and roll here, cut and roll here, and we can do a root canal like that. What about aspiration, file aspiration? What about hypo going down patient's throat? What about all the debris and blood and everything that's generated during, during the axis of the tooth that's blowing into your own face, the clinician's face and down patient's throat? Would you rather work in this environment? Or this environment would you rather do a root canal like this or would you rather do a root canal like this that's not only safe for the patient but also safe for you as as, as the operator as the doctor to our google search minimizes contamination the rubber dam prevents oral bacteria from entering the root canal system which is a primary objective of endodontic treatment maintains a dry field prevents aspiration and ingestion, protects patients from accidentally inhaling or swallowing small dental instruments, materials or debris during the treatment. And if you click on, on these attachments, it takes you to the actual articles, improves access and visibility, enhances patient comfort, and is considered standard of care by the American Association of the Donors, but the British Association of Endodontics, Brit British Journal of Endodon Endodontics, they say it's mandatory. And in the Pathways of the Pulp textbook also says rubber dam use is mandatory. The use of rubber dam is mandatory. Mandatory. It doesn't say it's optional. Mandatory. Please. Do yourself and your patients a favor and read up. I'm not talking to a five-year-old who doesn't understand the science. If I'm talking, if I'm arguing with a dentist who has a doctoral degree, who should have a scientific background, and they're against the use of a rubber dam, they tell me that they don't use the rubber, they don't believe in using a rubber dam, and you know, all the nonsense that I hear from some of you, it, 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 um, it concerns me. It's very concerning. Please, for the sake of yourself, for the sake of your patients, for the safety of yourself, health, your, your own health and safety, your patient's health and safety,
please, I'm begging you guys, read up. You're a doctor for God's sake. You're not, you're not some, uh, you know, you're not a, 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 a 12 year old. You have a doctoral degree. Please read up for your own sake, for, for your own health and benefits and for the, your patient's health and benefits. Stop arguing with me while you use a rubber dam and you don't believe in it and there's no studies, there's no science uh, showing that that the use of a rubber dam is, is, uh, is important or that if you don't use a rubber dam, you get the same success rate as using a rubber dam. This is all nonsense. What are you talking about? I have a bunch of studies that show that. You, all you need to do is a Google search. I mean, it's, it should be really embarrassing for a, for a dentist to do a Google search on, on, uh, if they don't believe in using a rubber dam to convince themselves to use a rubber dam. You should already know that. They should have taught you all of this in dental school. But anyways, still, do a Google search and read up. There are so many articles here. There are so many scientific articles here. Read up. It's absolutely ridiculous for me to make this video. But here we are. Pathways of the Pulp. The Holy Book of Endodontics, page 128. The use of the rubber dam is mandatory in root canal treatment. The use of the rubber dam is mandatory in root canal treatment. You want to say you know more than these guys? Cohen and Burns, who wrote the holy book of endodontics, you want to you want to argue with 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 the godfathers of of endo, the fathers of endodontics, modern endodontics. And here's here are the references. Mandatory. The use of the rubber dam is mandatory. In root canal treatment 14 16 go to 14 16 and here are the articles 14 Cochrane Miller Sheltrake the efficacy of the rubber dam as a barrier to the spread of microorganisms during dental treatment and 16 Cohen and Schwartz endodontic complications and the law Journal of Endodontics. Pathways of the Pulp. The Holy Book of Endodontics. The use of the rubber dam is mandatory in root canal treatment.